addition to carbon carbon double bond usually is electrophilic but a nucleophilic addition is also uh, possible for a nucleophile to interact with the double bonds these double bonds need to be sufficiently uh, electron deficient and you can do that by incorporating any electron withdrawing group next to the double bond these electron withdrawing groups could be of any type like cyanide groups carbonic groups nitro groups halogens etc and do the uh, work for you so what is the mechanism and it is different from electrophilic addition because in electrophilic addition the attack is from the double bond on the uh, electrophile but here the nucleophile will attack the double bond and it will attack on one of the two sp2 hybridized carbon atoms and it will select that carbon uh, for attack after that after the attack the intermediate that is formed is stabilized so if it attacks on this carbon atom the intermediate the carbon ion will be formed here but if it attacks here the carbon ion is formed here and so it is uh, stabilized by this electron withdrawing group so it will preferentially uh, prefer uh, to uh, attack this carbon atom rather than this one right and in the final workup step it takes a proton uh, to give you this structure so here are some examples a simple molecule here you can see this double bond is substituted with a nitrile group and we are going to react it with a cyanide group with a evident cyanide anion and uh, this nucleophile will attack again one of the two positions. So it will preferentially attack here, uh, as we will see in the mechanism below, and give you uh, this molecule. So the mechanism for the reaction is uh, exactly the same as we discussed in the previous slide. The cyanide group attacks here, and we have the formation of a carbonyl intermediate here. This carbonyl intermediate is uh, stabilized by the electron withdrawing nitrile group. So if you have like a negative charge here and uh, you have a nitrile group. So both inductive effect and mesomeric effects can help in the stabilization of this uh, carbon ion. Inductive effect usually is not uh, very stronger. So anything that can stabilize this carbon ion through a mesomeric effect uh, would have a greater stabilization effect on this carbon ion. So this negative charge can be stabilized by the nitrile group in this way. So the, because we have a triple bond here and it can be involved in resonance with this p orbital that is filled. So that is why the negative charge shifts between this carbon and this nitrogen. Uh, it resonates between the carbon and the nitrogen. So the charge density is lower and that helps in stabilization of the carbon ion. And finally, in the work of step, it takes the proton and give you this product. Okay, so uh, cyanide group is not the only uh, nucleophile that you would see. You can use neutral molecules as well. You can use anions, of course. You can use neutral molecules uh, as nucleophiles as well for these reactions, but with a condition. And the condition is that you have to use a base along with these. So the common nucleophiles are alcohols, phenols, amines, sulfides, etc. So you can use H2S as a as a nucleophile. You can use any of the amines as a nucleophile. You can use alcohols or you can use a molecule of phenol as a nucleophile. But because these are neutral molecules, their reactivity towards the double bond although it might be electron deficient with the help of this electron drawing group, but still its reactivity towards this double bond might be lower. To enhance its reactivity, uh, you have to use a base. And what would be the, uh, the role of the base here? So if you have like, for example, an alcohol, so the role of the base would be to abstract this proton from the alcohol first and convert it into an anion like this. So we have a negative charge of oxygen now, and now this is a stronger nucleophile. Similarly, if you are using, like, for example, H2S, so uh, this base would abstract a proton from H2S, converting it into uh, 
HS anion, and then it can react with the double bond. Similarly, amines can be deprotonated by the base and have a negative charge of nitrogen that can attack the carbon atom. So if you are using neutral molecules, you have to use the base with it to activate them, to convert them into anions, or if you have anions, you can use them directly, because the reactivity still would be lower uh, for the neutral molecules with these uh, activated uh, double bonds.